Okay, as usual, it takes like 10 15 seconds for the video to start, so hopefully, it doesn't cut off too much here. But what we're gonna do is, I, I updated this map quite a while ago, but I never did a really good walkthrough on the whole new system. Um, Maverick has Maverick Farms out there that utilize this system, and if you guys are familiar with my placeable factories, uh, it uses this system as well. It's just a different type of pallet system. But depending on how you find this video or the site or whatever, this is my YouTube. Obviously, you're watching on here, but this is my uh, actual mod site. You'll be able to find the actual map. Um, and I'll try to put a link <coughs> on the video as well, but it's broke down pretty easy to figure out. Um, so there's your map. And it's actually updating right now, so I don't even know if it'll show if I click on it. But always make sure to check these infos out. It tells you basically when the map was last updated, or any of my mods. So I'm actually going to uh, quickly put in here now. And I don't even know. There we go. So it's version 3, and what I do is it's March... 2018 if I do more than one update per day I'll put a number here as well so that's the version um, the dated equipment simple as that but yeah you just basically go and always try to hit that and I even have an update list as well that'll actually break down all the equipment on the toll website so once again if we scroll down the map I'm gonna actually put in um, 03 06 18 and we'll do the same thing here for version number which is kind of self-explanatory but 03 06 18 um, close that so yeah you just click right on this icon and it's updating now so I know it's gonna pop up right but you would just click on this and download it from OneDrive and there's some credits. Try to read that, like I said, without all these script writers and some different models I used, the map wouldn't be possible. So yeah, that breaks that down. So let's go right in. I'm going to show you what you start up with the startup equipment. Um, then we'll go in and just kind of do a walkthrough. So let me jump over to the game. You get some decent amount you can sell some things uh, the cool thing is, is is anyone knows my equipment and how I work I utilize fermenting silos <laughs> so field 12 is already planted with grass I don't believe it is fertilized so you might want to fertilize to get a little more field 15 I think has wheat we'll go through the equipment now I do have some modded equipment on here we'll kind of run through that as well this uh, mower itself this trailer is in game but this mower if we start him up this guy will haul butt um, we can do 20 mile an hour with this mower and uh, basically any mods you need for this map are included including sugarcane I made this map sugarcane ready so you just go to Westbridge maps this is a special BD trailer that we'll be looking at uh, a larger one here's a smaller one and then you have if anyone's familiar with my uh, liquid tank pack or liquid pack I should say storage pack I put them in here as well so they'll they'll handle the liquid triggers because um, most maps you have to have a special tanker well that's included in the map as well this guy here is if you want to fuel equipment you use it this one will basically utilize any other function it won't be able to fill at a gas station it won't fill equipment but it will do anything else as far as liquid goes. Like I said, this guy here is if you want to buy fuel and fuel equipment directly with a tanker. Um, same thing here, they're just smaller tanks and I've added hitches on the back of these guys. We'll go over that as well. So you can train them up. And it's ironically, this trailer here as well, if you open this up now, I've added some cool features. So by default, it's a semi hitch. So you just back a semi into it. But if you go over, it adds a, a front attachment of an actual trailer hitch so you can either pull with a tractor or you can train it up with another semi trailer and then it's colorable you got the different tractor size tires and then design wise I got Def Gamers logo because I started with this trailer on uh, 
a coffee factory pack and then there's my logo or you can just go standard uh, that is the basic equipment there's the two mowers I was talking about they're cheap <laughs> so yeah I like that I, Def Gamer has been bugging me about doing that with that trailer Badzilla so we finally got in for those of you who watch this later on YouTube I'll be talking to some people on my Twitch channel so I'm not going completely nuts <laughs> And then here's the sugar stain, sugar stain, sugar cane equipment that is used as well. Now this is not included. This is an extra mod I threw in. Someone else asked for the edit, and I, well, I like it, so I threw it in as well. But anything from this ropa to the right will be included in the map. And how it works basically is this is just your typical in-game rapid multi-fruit. Um, but the cool thing is I've added poplar in. Um, you can do potatoes and sugar beet as well. Yeah, there's sugar beet. So you can plant anything with this guy. The poplar's kind of cool because you can plant a crap little poplar. And then, as far as the map goes, the extra fruit types, the in-game sugar cane, there's cotton, rye, oat. Um, I think that's all I added is cotton, rye, and oat. This guy will do the same thing. It's just a little, little larger piece of equipment. Now, here's where the sugar cane gets kind of cool. Uh, this is basically just a sugar beet and potato guy uh, converted over to to harvest uh, sugar cane with this header. Um, these headers are colorable. We'll go ahead and buy a couple of these. And I got to get some money. And lucky me, I didn't. Uh, guess I didn't add the money mod in for some reason. Oh, that's right. I'll do that when I go through the walkthrough. Apologize. I'm just supposed to be showing uh, starting equipment, aren't I? So we've got a couple of tractors. We'll just cycle through them here. Nothing special to start with, but you'll make money plenty fast. There's a truck. There's the harvester you start with. Um, these two trailers, once again, this is the fuel trailer. This is only for diesel fuel to actually fill up. So if we want to take this guy. And actually buy fuel can be done not there because if you look at the logos this map will be I have a lot of explanation on it you should be able to figure it out fuel equipment load a tank onload tank into the storage and that'll actually show you how much is in the in the tank itself and whatever that sign says we'll be able to access here as well this display in front here will just show transfer. It takes a little bit. It's using a script. It's not just a typical um, storage because it has to fuel equipment. It'd do something different. It's using the fabric. So this will just give you status if it's pumping. Um, if you're familiar with my liquid tanks, this is basically just added to the map. The only cool thing is it actually has uh, the readouts up here of what's in the tanks. Um, I'll give you guys some water to start with. Nothing too crazy. So you want to go faster. So anyhow, yeah, we'll go back over here. I think I've got a couple of fueling stations. It's a little confusing on the map because there's there's extra fuel icons on there if something actually stores fuel. So so yeah, basically you can refill this guy. It's just gonna cost you money, and you shouldn't have to ever do that because there's plenty of stuff on here to actually uh, make fuel. Which we'll get into. And then if you go up in this tractor, I got my walk speed cranked up. You can refill from that tank. So that's basically how that works. It's got the rapid seeder in here. I didn't fill it up for some reason. It's only half full. Um, it does not have fertilizer in it. So you'll want to probably get a fertilizer spreader, which for some reason I didn't include in the map. Maybe we'll do that later. I did throw a plow in there, which I never use. In a small little in-game trailer. Um, this is the small pallet trailer. Small version. Uh, it's simple enough to start. It, it holds like 30,000 if I remember right. So it's more than enough to handle the first start up. So yeah, that's, that's just a rundown. Sorry if I kind of scrambled around. I keep forgetting that was my whole purpose of starting here. Is to show you what you start up with. Another quick note. We jump over here to Tomcat Chips, and we jump in a train, if I can find where it's parked. You are given some starting 
wood chips. And wood chips are pretty important in this map as well. So we can back out of here. I crank the speed up on these guys. Didn't get too crazy with it because they're hard to stop. Yeah, hot pink. <laughs> uh, okay, so basically, if you pull them here and find it, can stop. Come on. As you can see, I put a display there as well. And I think if we run over here, there's a display you can pick up wood chips by either driving under here or under this pipe. And then you can drop wood chips off here. Or you can drop it with the train here. But once again, we can start filling. Or, like I said, unload right back in there. Just basically a storage for wood chips. And what you can do is you can drive on over to the other train hub. And them only hold wood chips. I didn't get too crazy with it. There's a wood chipper we'll go over later. You can actually fill the train in did some uh, work on the train tracks here. It's uh, not just your typical paint. I actually made it a solid texture. Did some little archways here. Which is on my side as well if you guys want to do prefab stuff. You know, it looks kind of generic but it's better than what I had. So basically I swing over here and, and you can use these uh, You can use these cranes to load logs if you want. I thought there were wood chips over here, but I guess I didn't include them. Back up. So you can basically drop your wood chips in there. And then, oops, the other train, I believe, is sitting over here. Yep. So this train, I'm not going to get too crazy going around the trains because it's just a basic setup. Just drive around the train, get to pick up the wood chips and bring them back here and sell them now. Here's the kicker. This sell point, you can bring any log here obviously and sell it. Um, drop the kids off the pool. <laughs> but, the only thing I will warn you is if you want to sell wood chips, and I think that's all that is accepted here at IH Man's Wood. Let's see where we can sell wood chips. Somewhere, there we go. IH Man, yeah. The only thing you can sell at IH Man is actually wood chips, but it will only accept the train. Um, it sells a little better there, so that's kind of the reason I did it. You can haul, you can haul a truck up, have a silo, and fill the, the train with the silo, but like I said, you can only tip a train into this trigger just to give you guys a heads up. So that's just a rundown and starting equipment. Nothing special. Like I said, I did not give you a uh, fertilizer spreader. I didn't think about that. But once again, it's not a big deal. Um, it can be added pretty cheap or bought pretty cheap. So let me go ahead and back out of this uh, version of the game save and I will open up one that I've already added some things in and we'll start going through the map. Yeah the digital display stuff I gotta look at doing that on equipment. I haven't even looked at that bad though. I know see there's it's a catch twenty two equipment's a little harder to mess with but let's see if I have the money added into this one I think so you can add a lot more things into equipment. That's the only nice thing. I don't even know why I have the stop milk cell on there because that's already included in the map. Okay, we got the money cheap and cheat in there, so if I need more money. So we'll go ahead and start showing the function uh, functionality of the map here. Basically the biggest difference about this map, I'll say right up front if you don't know my map, is I cannot stand the bunker systems. I know there's the big mega bunkers out there everybody likes, which is fine. I mean, that's that's cool. I haven't thought about really, not really interested in that right now. I basically tore all the bunkers out. This is where my fermenting silo pack came from. 
Um, right off the bat, this guy here takes basically anything that you can think of to make sil or more or less kind of like biogas, but it, it'll actually take sugar beet, chaff, straw, or grass and hay and convert it into number one silage and then it gives you a byproduct of fuel. Um, this will actually fill your vehicle or you can bring a tank in here and fill it up. Go to the next fermenting silo, same thing, same products, sugar beet, chaff, straw, grass or hay. It's going to make you silage and you come over here and you can get liquid fertilizer. I can't remember yeah, I think you can fill a sprayer or tanker here. Um, we step over to the next fermenting silo. Same input, same output of silage, but this guy is going to actually make you solid fertilizer. We run on over to this guy. This is the typical how BJ works. It's going to make silage and digestate. And then if you just want to simply make some money, takes the uh, all the same materials input and only makes the silage and what's cool and this I got this idea I believe from Badzilla that's in my stream right now if we go in and buy an actual conveyor like so buy this guy and I'll swing over to the shop visit Let's walk a little faster than normal picked up a gold nugget. Yeah, the gold nuggets are supported on this map as well, guys. And we're going to uh, cheat and we're going to teleport this guy right on down to there. Didn't be too bad job getting it there. So if you take this conveyor and you park it like so. You could make some serious cash, guys. And what I usually do is I actually jump out, activate this automatic filling. Uh, if you're not using an Xbox controller, it's uh, R for automatic filling. And I don't know if I have a piece of equipment that's already set up for grass or not. If not, we're ready to do one. So basically, we can go to the Westbridge mod that we showed earlier. Let's buy this guy. And this can be any color you want. And as it shows right here, it's basically just an in-game mower. It's been sped up and you can make it colorable. Or it is colorable, sorry. Let's match colors. Um, this mod is not on, included in the map. You can find it on the website. You see this a lot out there. Basically, just took the in-game. Uh, I took the in-game loading lag and add the old Drake uh, rakes to it from I believe S FS 13. How does the cells work as an input output? The chain on these one second. No, it. You basically, you can put different materials in Badzilla, and you have to take the same materials out as far as... Are you talking about the in-game silos? Or are you talking about, like, the fermenting silos? I'm not sure what you're asking. We'll go ahead and drop this guy, start him up. I'll just make some silage quick. Um, basically I just make, they're just two outputs, um, but just a, it's just a fabric script, just like any of the other fabric scripts, it's just taking, say, uh, just taking a thousand liters of something and converting it into whatever I have the ratio set at, I'm not really sure what I set the ratio at, yeah, we'll just run on down to the VH with VGA quick here. Actually, I didn't even have to cut the grass like I'm doing here. I could have just probably load out of the silo. Because I'm pretty sure I have... 
Oops, I keep forgetting this on pole. It's just up. Oh. I'm pretty sure I have the grass stored down here anyway. And there's three silo systems. You have the silo system down here at the cow animal area. They all have boards as well. And as you can see it's labeled there's farm silo, cow silo, and mill silo. So basically here's your farm silo. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the mill silo is over here by the Mavericks Mills. It all has a display as well. Got the American flag up there and there's, it lights up at night. We'll show that as well. We'll go back to there. the farm silos or the uh, animal silos. Let's fill us up the grass quick. And these guys fill fast. Does anyone end up free or is the output split versus the input? It's Maybe I'm not not understanding, but basically, I think I have the silo. Just I'd have to look at the factors. I'd have to open it, but the bio or the um, byproduct is like maybe 10%. So say you put a thousand liters in, it's going to give you uh, 900 silage and a hundred byproduct, I guess. And I have that set up differently now. This one here is just a straight out single output. It doesn't give you byproduct. So yeah, basically, see if we dump this in here, guys, we'll show you. I'll probably have to speed time up a little bit, but in fact, I'm going to go over here and shut this automatic off so it doesn't automatically start filling it. We're going to speed our time up just so this guy functions. You can see it just shows you input and up on our screen here see the chaff going up and it's making a product of silage so and that's the input side and that's how much silage is in there well, basically I can jump in this guy and I can hit load and it's automatically if I have it over there you go it automatically starts selling the silage as you can see and this is big money maker um, we'll turn the speed back down now if you just want to be lazy about it, and this is what Badzilla kind of showed me how to do this, you can basically just load this guy up, just keep loading him up, you can come over here. Um, the secondary take. No, it's basically you put in a thousand liters here, and then it's going to make 900 liters of silage and 100 liters of fuel. I'm not, and I'm not guaranteeing that factor. I'd have to look at the factors. It's in the the um, i3d file I have to see what I have it set at but you're not putting in a thousand here getting a thousand here and a hundred here that'd be eleven hundred I'm pretty sure I have it even like I said I don't know the factors I'd have to look but yeah back to here basically you can just come over here set this to automatic filling and then this guy will just continuously unload your silo and you can see the money just ticking away up top so, just a cool little thing that Badzilla kind of showed me on this. And I, I think Grabby had showed me as well. But Badzilla, he'll take and put the placeables down here and link a bunch of them up, which is pretty cool. And this is just a rundown of what you have down here. It shows you right there, you know, the fermenter has that much chaff and that much silage. And the fuel fermenter, few minute, fermenter can't talk today, sorry. It's chaff, silage, fuel, and so on. Um, this is just your typical digestate from the from the BGA that's actually being made right now. Oops, can't walk. So if we walk over here, we can actually see the digestate going up. Then you can actually run over here. This guy will take digestate or slurry from the from the animals and convert it into compost and manure. So if we actually go grab, so we can find a tanker. These guys are all chained, so I don't want to use them. We got tankers sitting there. Let's see if we have a free tractor. I got, well, I got all the tractors used up, so we'll go buy another one. Buy that guy. Crank up the 
speed. Go wide tires. Let's go with Tennessee logo. What the heck? And we'll just go ahead and run down to the farm. Yeah, there's so many different. <laughs> and we'll get over all the little buildings down here, but I want to run over and show you how that building works at the BGA first. The crash. So we're going to run over to the BGA. I couldn't teleport, but we'll go ahead and drive. And for the side hole. I said I added this hitch on a while back and it's, I'm waiting for the update to go live on console or long story every time I submit it they ask for something else and it's like it comes out of thin air somehow and basically yeah, you can pull over here fill this guy up with digest tape and come over Start on loading here. It's got the little display, it'll show you what's going on, and as well as up on your screen. Sometimes you gotta recycle by hitting F1. So we've got 2100 slurry in there, and it's making manure and compost, and you can actually walk up with slower walking speed down so you're not walking into everything. if you want, it's kind of cool. And that plane will come up and down depending on how much product you have in there. I think that pretty much takes care of the BGA area. You can buy fuel over there if you want. On the other side of the BGA. You shouldn't have to buy any fuel between this fuel fermenter and then uh, if you jump on over to the fuel plant. Oh, that's actually a gas station. Um, this guy will make Fuel. I don't know if I even updated this sign, but basically anything on the map, um, you can throw here. It will produce fuel and compost. And if you want, here's a storage, a fuel storage spot. It's the same as at the farm I showed you. Basically, unload your fuel into the tank here, and you can either load up a, a tanker. Or you can fill your equipment directly. Um, so you had one at the farm, which is here for fuel. You've got liquid storage as well. You just basically take a tank, drop it here, and you can fill it back up. This will not fill um, the liquid fertilizer. Cannot fill uh, planters or sowers, as they say in the game, and it will not. Uh, the digestate tanks just to give you guys an idea you would have to actually put it in one of these tanks here and uh, you could fill the tank with it or a or a sower um, so yeah there is one of the fuel storage areas and then I think got the same thing over here at the mills you got some liquid storage and the fuel storage um, I don't think I put yeah, there's actually four fuel storage areas because there's one over here as well. We're over here, potato area. And here, this actually stores milk on top of the other products. Um, there's vegetable oil, water, uh, liquid fertilizer, digestate, and slurry. So there's all your storage areas. I will start getting down to the nitty gritty of the map here. Basically, the backbone of this map starts at the sawmill. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this truck. Now, these sawmills, they'll take wood chips or logs as an input right here. Then you need a fuel. You can either use straw or wood chips for your fuel. Um, it's going to output a byproduct or waste of wood chips that you can I believe use a shovel if you want which I would want to do that work <laughs> or you can just pull under here and pick up your chips out of the silo um, then we're gonna basically output boards and this is where our little 
cool trailer comes in. Um, this this one's already set there at the beginning of the map, but you will actually take just to show you on the log side. If you come over here, you can just drive right over here, and the logs will just automatically go on. Give you guys an idea. But then we'll jump into this tractor. Once again, we're making a byproduct of wood chips, which you can turn right around. So this is basically how this trailer works. As you can see, these little pallets popped up. I gotta add some different pallets. Some of them I have where it pops up basically just a little symbol what's on there. You can always look right there. He's gonna tell you wood chips. Um, but this guy, instead of having an actual fill plane like a normal tipper, is just gonna put pallets on the trailer. And it's a special system for this map. So like I said, we can just dump this right back into the fuel side. And then you can either take this trailer or one of these trailers and fill out of these pallet systems and I tried to actually give you a display on the ground to explain that maybe I guess I didn't on this one very good it just says load boards but uh yeah this is why I'm doing a tutorial I guess but you have to take one of these special pallet trailers which once again if you go to the store go to Westbridge Mods See to this guy, and it says right here, need to collect products from BD's placeables can also be used for in-game fruit and manual loading of bales. So I guess it doesn't break down what it's actually doing, but it's pallet trailer, pallet trailer. Both of these guys are what utilizes them special triggers. I just it got to be where pallets were a little bit of a pain trying to keep up with them. So you know inside that may not make sense to you if you don't know much about modding but rather than mess with pallets we're actually just using visibility nodes so you just pull right into here it will give you a load yes NC stuff well NC stuff won't work for these triggers no it'll work for all the other stuff like it normally would but these special pallet triggers Badzilla's asking about NC raiders but the load boards this is not a real pallet this is using silo triggers if I was to actually hit the the bone, I don't know what it's called, but see the collision stuff, it would actually show a silo trigger there. I guess I can do that. But you can see there's a silo trigger there. It's not actually a pallet trigger. This is all just smoke and mirrors to make it look like they're pallets. When I hit the load, so R, it just starts loading the boards. Simple as that. No handle them with the forklift, no using automatic loading pallet trailers it might freeze up the uh, movers it's just a simple silo system that's just been tricked into using pallets so and you basically just come over here you dump your boards and it's crazy so you dump your boards here just like you would unload normally and then if you look over here it's going to tell you resources boards product pallets and your product, your pallets are going to look like they're coming over here once again it's just a visual thing you can actually walk through them and you load your pallet over here so you take the same trailer you just pull right over here and load up your pallet so that's the that's the backbone of the system um, swing on down here. Slide around. <laughs> now, water wise, you guys can drive right down here. You don't have to worry about drowning your vehicle. You can drive right through here and you can actually fill up your water tanker that way. Or if you prefer the more traditional way, you can just drive over here and fill it up. So that's where you can get free water. So you guys know. Here's where the sheep are. You, uh, you pick up pick up and drop off point um, your pallets will spawn in this area here's your uh, feeding trough I have a label as well here's your water pretty basic and then uh, let's run on over to show you something quick here as well in fact I don't even need this guy because I think I have one set and yeah we'll drive so you can see the map make up my mind or not. 
it's pretty much the same uh, cell points you had in the original West Bridge from 15, got as far as the areas on the map. Shops in the same spot. I got rid of one field to do all the extra trees. There's, there's a ton of trees. Here's a, a cool little feature I added, and this is what's a little tougher to do with pallets as well, so that's why I like this feature. You can actually come over to this, and this is where it starts getting a little better label system. So on the ground, it shows you right there, it shows you that trailer. Onload product in warehouse, and it shows you what's in stock. There's a mill storage area, which we're at now, and then there is the production storage, which is over by the salsa and uh, ketchup. And this is just another sign so you can see when you're actually loading the product from the warehouse. Alright, so we unload right into the warehouse. We just want to store the pallets. Sorry, my phone's going off. Probably be a phone call. <laughs> so yeah, you can drop off products just to store it there. Or you come over here, just like a regular silo system. You got boards, potato chips, onions, tortilla chips, ketchup, salsa, jalapeno, tomato, eggs, and pallets. That's a roundup. Um, now the only difference, yeah. The gamer dude saying he likes the labels. Yes, that's the biggest frustration I have on maps that are similar to this is if they're not labeled, then it can be a real bear trying to find things. So basically, the reason I did these so they're trained trailers is because unlike regular pallets, you can't put more than one style of pallet on these trailers because it's working like a regular trailer. Directed. So yeah, that's why I made these smaller trailers so you can actually train them up. But we're going to go ahead and grab pallets and this guy here. In fact, we can go ahead and just fill this guy up too. And like I said, this guy is holding 60,000. Not exactly realistic, but not much on this map that is really realistic, right? You can buy fuel here as well. What we'll do is we'll set this guy up here and I want to back up a little bit and I'll show one more little factory. We'll use these here. Um, so I'm going to need some fuel. Which I don't know that I have any made. Oops, I run into something. I do have some stored. Let's go ahead, let's teleport down to the farm so I'm not taking too much time driving around. I think, I think, I think. I don't have any there yet. Where do I have the fuel? Let's just jump around the map and see. Move it. Okay, we got some fuel there, so. And here's the other sawmill. Um, if you look on the map, it, it's all labeled sawmill fuel plant. So I apologize I'm not driving around, but and that actually shows you once you start getting some stock built up, it'll start being just some visible nodes here. So this guy looks like it's maxed out. So let's go ahead and grab. So basically, to show you again, once again, you can pull up here, you can fill this tractor up from that location. Or you can come over here, you can actually load a tank, start loading fuel. That should be 
good enough to get started. Let's run on down to the little saw. Wood crusher. Because there's Big Daddy, if you go on my site, check my external links. NC, we were just talking about that. It's got a lot of cool stuff. It's got the AR equipment where you just back a truck underneath the trailer and hook it up and go. And Big Daddy's got a little wood crusher that will actually just take the whole tree, chop it up, and get rid of the trunk for you. <laughs> so it's a stump grinder as well. If you go into this little mess here with all the trees, we can get in here without uh, having to cut any trees down. Come over here to this wood crusher. Tell you, you can start on loading fuel. So, once again, you've got a display like all the other fabric. If you hit F1 a couple times a cycle, you need fuel and logs. So, we done put some fuel in. Now all we have to do is we can actually cheat here a little bit. We're going to go in and buy a chainsaw to get started. Buy. Okay. And all you have to do to start with is get these logs. I'm going to slow down so I can see what I'm doing. Can't okay, remember how to run this guy. B. Okay. Basically, that tree is going to hit that trigger and disappear. <laughs> so, as you can see, you have a log there, and actually, see, you can actually see it half a long way. Once it hits that trigger, bye bye tree, and it's added to the trigger. And if we speed up time, that fires up, starts making wood chips. And so this here was basically taken from the sawmill for animation, and I added in the little wood chipper from in game. It was added to the silo for visual effects, and like I said, it's basically filling the silo up with wood chips. It doesn't make it as quick as Big Daddy's little wood chipper you drive around a truck, but it does a pretty quick job of making some wood chips. As you can see, we already have 41,000. And the cool thing about this is you actually can take the train, which is over here, Let's walk a little faster. Fill it up. You can see the load status of the train, or you can take a tipper and just drive under here and load as well. So that that can be your source of wood chips. I have a placeable version of this guy as well, guys. If you're interested, um, so that's where you get your source of wood chips if you want it. Or you can just deal with the logs, but you're still going to need a fuel, so you're going to need that straw. our wood chips to get this guy going. So basically the, the core of the game is start making you some fuel for the map and start making you some wood chips because that's how you're going to actually make your boards. Pick up your boards and you run them over here, drop them off in the little pallet building, pick up your pallets here and then you can haul them off to the other points we're going to show you. Um, okay, so we got pallets. Now, as far as the pallets go, this is what you utilize the pallets for. Most production buildings on here are going to use pallets. Um, to start right off, we have greenhouses. So these greenhouses are going to take water. They're going to take pallets. They're going to take seed. So we can actually make seed. We'll show you that as well. And this is where you're going to actually take and start loading your onions. They're stored in the silo. Once again, it's all visual. And you're going to need compost or manure. I added manure to this guy as well. Um, to make your compost, you already seen down at the BGA how you can do that. Or you can come over here, you can dump any of these products. So it's grass, hay, straw, chaff, um, silage, or wood chips. And it's going to make you compost. And the convenience of having a little storage area here as well. So let's go ahead. Let's fill these guys up with pallets. 
conveniently I have three trailers. Don't fall off the edge of the earth. Nope, that compost maker is part of the map, Bedzilla. Everything you see on this map is part of the map. I have not used the only mod that I have on here that's not on the map are these tractors and that trailer. That's auto loading trailer. Oh, I'm sorry, this truck. Everything else is included on the map. Where did I go? Where did I go? There we go. So let's go to the main farm. If we take. any fruit in the game, well, look, as you can see that's where you get the little labels of the wheat. When you come over here, this is a seed maker. And basically you take any seed, I don't know if it'll take sugar beet, I can't remember. Onload your seed, what the logo says, let's go ahead and speed up time here. Yep, here you go. This tells you what all it takes. So there's wheat, soybeans, sunflower, canola, rye, barley, corn, cotton. So anything that is non-ground fruit, I think they used to call it in 15. And it makes your seed. Now the cool thing is you can fill your tippers here. Or you can actually take and fill your uh, sowers here as well. Some sowers will work over here, but it's just much easier. This works like a tank trigger. And it shows you a little seed pallets being made here. Um, I don't know if I have that. Com I don't think I have that compost as a placeable Badzilla because I try not to make too many uh, placeables that aren't using in-game fill types. It just causes other issues. So there's where you can make your seeds. Um, since we're down here at the farm, this is just a seed storage area. So basically, you just drop your seeds in here. Same thing. You can load a tipper with the seed. Or you can load your sower right out. And like I said, this is just storage. Um, we have fertilizer storage here. Same thing. You, you dump your fertilizer here, and then you can pick it up with a tipper, or you pick it up with a sower over here. Um, and then this will fill uh, fertilizer spreaders as well. This guy is a liquid fertilizer storage. You just dump your liquid fertilizer pick it up over here and this will make liquid fertilizer you dump your water here any of these products over here and then you will pick up liquid fertilizer here this is where you can buy fertilizer or liquid fertilizer this is where you can buy fuel um, you can buy seed over here by the straw barn. This will take, just like the original FS15 version, this takes straw, grass, hay, and in bales. And you can sell them in here. And this is where you can buy your seed if you want. But once again, you don't really have to buy anything. This uh, map is pretty self-sufficient. And here's one of the sowers that I included in the map. As you can see it takes wheat, barley, rape, which is uh, canola. Uh, soybean. I've never used oil seed radish. <laughs> There's grass, sunflower, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, cotton. I will warn you, sugar cane will be used very fast, but it makes a lot and you don't have to replant it. There's rye, oats, and poplar. Um, just to give you guys an idea how the little storage thing works, you basically just pour right over here. Start loading seed there. The same thing over here. You can come over. Start loading seed. And fertilizer wise, this doesn't take liquid fertilizer, so it'll come over. You can either load it from the storage. Whoa, is that crash? 
little unstable, huh? Start loading fertilizer there. MLB link is not working on your site. Okay, I'll have to check that out. That's odd. And well, I don't have any product in here, but you would normally be able to throw fertilizer here as well. Okay, yeah, I'll check that out, gamer dude. I'm not sure why my with my chat, sorry. Okay, so yeah, that long story short, that's where you make your seeds. Um, we'll go back, so this is the main farm. Let's go ahead and drive back up. Three greenhouses. And I probably don't need that much because these guys don't hold much seed. And hey there, Bauer, how's it going? Sorry I missed you. I'm not trying to ignore you, just uh, deep thought here. <laughs> I think I have it set up so the tomatoes will work a little fast because we're using two different factories. Okay, and basically when you start dumping that stuff, it's kind of cool because your product will start growing in here. No, it's not. It's kind of cheesy. I made my own onions. Um, but yeah, these guys will start producing stuff. Um, what is this? The jalapenos will start popping up as you see, and tomatoes will start popping up. Actually, have a display here as well. Maybe. Oh, idiot. <laughs> Let's go find our tanker. Uh, my mills. And I do. Okay. So, I showed you as I drove by the sheep, there's a little water hole, but then you can store your water in here. I give you guys a little bit of water to start with, I believe. Like I was saying, I speed the time up. Get everything else is going to give you a display of what you need. So you've got your manure, compost, water, seeds, pallet, and then it's going to start making a jalapeno. 
onion, and tomato. So basically, grab your trailer again. This one's where I started getting a little better on the display, so it actually shows you use one of these trailers or a trailer to load your onion. So you can't you can't load two products in one trailer. That's the one drawback of the system. Alpino. And tomato. And then you can actually, if you have some stored down here, which I cheated and I had to launch down here. You can sell all these products as well, guys. If you look at your display up here, you can sell milk. There's even fuel, spot to sell fuel at the supply market. I don't have where you can sell water. <laughs> um, yeah, your seeds. So here's where all the little products start. So you've got flour, sugar, eggs, vegetable oil, donuts. There's uh, the eggs you can make on, make on the map, rather than eggs from chickens, which I don't even know why they show because I don't even think I have chickens on this map. Jalapeno, ketchup, onion, pallets, potato chips, salsa, tomatoes, tortilla chips, and vegetable oil. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's the Donna's salsa too. Donna in the chat. Make sure I'm driving the straight line. Unfortunately, I didn't put a whole lot of eye candy on the map. I did add some trees in this last version, but. <laughs> I was going to add some signs in, but I wanted to get this newer version released because I did some work on them trailers. I added the special attachment hitch on the front. Didn't drive too straight. So basically, you get over here to the. And there's a storage area here again. Which I could have just picked up the tomatoes and everything over here. I forgot, but oh well. You swing over here to the little factories. So you've got Badzilla and Throsby's ketchup. You take your pallets and drop them here. It's going to need some sugar here. Water. Tomatoes. This is where you pick up your ketchup. Basically the same thing over here. You've got your jalapeno, onion, Tomato and pallets, some sugar, and water, and you load your pallets. So, once again, I don't have a pallet over here yet, but we can go ahead and drop some tomatoes at the ketchup factory. As you can see, the biogas plant's still chipping away on making money. <laughs> over here and tomatoes we'll drop our jalapeno
sugar. Grab these guys here. So yeah, it's, that was my new uh, contraption over the weekend is getting this hitch added on. It's not pretty right there, but it don't work too bad. I think I can actually use sugar from sugar store over here. Nope, forgot sugar's in the main silos. Main silo system, so I have to run to the farm. Let's uh, just to kind of show you how these guys work. Sides fold down as well. If you want to use it as an actual, like a pallet trailer. Only bad thing is if you put seed pallets in this, it'll convert it into a actual seed. So if you go to dump it, it'll be underground. It's not a bad thing. I guess I should make show how to make the sugar as well. But so that's how that trailer works. Just basically a little larger. Driving around, we're gonna cheat again. We're gonna fly across the map. This trailer, man, I just redid this, so we might have some issues I don't know about yet, so no guarantees on that. <laughs> Haven't had a whole lot of testing. Alright, so now we just need water. And yeah, I, Maverick has that trailer as well that does the sack thing, and it's kind of, I'm not sure what the exact trailer was that I found but that's I got an idea it was either from PV Rivers or uh, so there's a lot of work or that trailer itself that I the combination come up with the idea to do that system so like I said you can either pull into the water and get water here or you can come over here at the same difference the triggers just spread out basically I'll probably make these guys so you can pull them as a train as well. I just gotta have some time to work on them. some water to this guy. And then I believe I have the display screen right here. And like I said, once all you have to cycle out F1 to get them all in order, it shows you what you have on hand. Speed the time up a little bit. 
And there we go. So basically, as you can see, you've got your jalapeno, your onion, your sugar, pallets, tomatoes, and water. It starts making salsa. Uh, come around the back side of the building. There's where you load your salsa. Like I said, you've either got to use this trailer or one of these trailers to get the salsa or the ketchup. Um, and back to the ketchup as well, same thing. If you go up, I think there's a display over here. Get your ketchup, or your, I'm sorry, your uh, tomato, sugar, pallet, and water to make your ketchup. And the same thing, you load the ketchup right here. Uh, so let's grab this guy. Got one pallet of salsa so far. ketchup. Um, as far as the sugar goes, and here's all the different places you can sell stuff. You guys can figure that out. If we go back to the mills, I'm not going to get too in-depth on these mills. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you take either sugar beet, corn, or sugar cane, and it's going to make sugar and compost. It's pretty self-explanatory how the rest of the, the uh, factories work you get a product and a byproduct so you would load your compost here and uh, can load your sugar here yes Donna to answer Donna's question yes if it works for regular fruits um, so basically here's the one with the DG logo on it if we swing on over to the silo here's how it recognizes the regular fruits in the game is how she's asking if it'll actually take regular fruits and if you download my factory pack, it's the same trailer. Um, it has different fill types and stuff on it. Um, if you pull under a silo, and you load wheat, for example, it's just going to put pallets of wheat like that. Like I said, these pallets are not... They're not forklift pallets. Like if I jump up in this trailer right now, to give you an example, um, I'm going to be standing in the middle of them. It's just for visual purposes, so don't get confused. <laughs> you can't take a forklift and load these pallets. It takes away that fun. Um, but once again, if you guys had just joined, I'm doing a tutorial here on the on the map. But here it is and here's the different selections you have you can either do the semi attachment on the front a trailer attachment you have your colors um, different types of tires there's a wide normal and narrow and then you have the Def Gamer logo the BD logo or just the standard uh, yeah you can unload with a combine in it as well I um, guess I haven't really done that it's uh Take this guy. It works just like a tipper. If there aren't any questions on these guys. And the little ones work the same way, they just don't have the foldable sides. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see where's the harvester. Hello, old man farmer, how's it going? Let's go ahead and buy that guy. And now we're starting to get in some of the other mods I have. So I said before all the mods are on the map, but some of these mods aren't. The only mods that are included are the ones that pop up as Westbridge and Sugarcane. And actually I'll have to grow some sugarcane to show you how that that works. Which I also have in a, an additional pack as well. Go ahead and uh, just set this guy loose. Get back in the truck. This is a nice thing about 
streaming and having a live audience as well to actually kind of get feedback like that, asking a question like that, because I didn't even think to show. I don't know if I've actually tested this, but I am pretty sure that it'll, a combine will fill it. And it's a low, low to the ground as well, so it's a little easier. So there you go. So yeah, it works with a combine, should work with an auger wagon as well, and you'll actually on over the ground as well. <laughs> That's what I was talking about, you gotta be careful because everyone thinks of it as being a pallet, but you can still do that. Um, stop on loading for all the mess. And then also, what else are we going to do over here? Well, if you download the factory pack, down, it's in the factory pack. Um, I don't have it as a separate mod. But here's where, like I said, it gets tricky if you don't watch it. It takes a seed. And it looks like the pallets. I got something going on here. Oops. And my mouse went off screen, so it's really goofy. I don't know if this truck's got something going on or... Oops. This is the trailer itself. I think there's something going on with this truck. Apart from all the teleporting I'm doing. This is where the storage actually works. So you can dump it in there. And then it does a process, or a transfer process. It's a little goofy how it works. It works so fast, might not even pop up on the screen. Oh, seed stored is full anyway because I have it jacked up on the capacity. I cheated when in the game save, but like I said, if you don't watch it, you can actually unload the seed and it's not pallets, it'll actually be seed right on the ground. Um, so yeah. All right, so that does it for the ketchup and the salsa line. Uh, we need to jump over to the mills and show this stuff a little bit more. So you have your already one of the greenhouses to make that, and then once again to make your sugar. That's why I start talking about it. it. Just takes your sugar beet, corn, and sugar cane. It makes a byproduct of compost and sugar. Um, and you've got a flour mill, which we're going to use here in a little bit. It takes rye, corn, wheat, barley, and oat. It makes compost and flour. We showed the uh, compost machine over here. It's just a composter. Um, we're going to walk on down over here to the potato area. Well, I should say potato and donut now. This guy will make uh, milk out of product if you don't want to worry about having cows. You can put barley, sunflower, soybean. I've looked it up on the internet. That's how I come up with these products. You can make milk out of any of these products. Same thing, you're going to get a compost. Then you're going to need a tanker to get your milk. Um, here's some storages you can put your product in if you run out of room in the actual factories. Uh, canola, sunflower, soybean, and cotton. We'll make vegetable oil once again. Over here's your vegetable oil, and here's your compost. Right along with this, you're going to want some washed potatoes. Um, you're going to drop your potatoes here. You're going to need fuel. You're going to need water, and then this guy will start making washed potatoes. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Go to the mills. Let's grab some potato. And this is an old farmer Andy mod from 15 that I converted over. I'd seen, some, I don't. It's a cool version that somebody's got out there, the potato washer, but I still like this old style. So I can go to this one over. So 
like I said, he's basically come over here, and I think you can use a, a lower as well on this guy. Drop the potatoes in there. I'll jump out. Delete all these tanks. Compost, you can either sell it. Old man farmer is asking what to do with all the compost. You can either sell it, or like I showed earlier, if you just happen to jump in, the uh, the greenhouses take either compost or manure. So at this point, them are the only three buildings that take compost. Um, you can also take the compost. I'm trying to remember if compost. You know, I'll have to compost. I don't know if I have where you can use this fertilizer on this map. To tell you the truth, but. I'm trying to remember. I think you can use compost as manure on the map. I don't know. That's an answer I don't know on my own map. I have to check that out. So here's the water. Going on over here. And then you follow 9133401. Thanks for follow. Welcome to the stream. We're in the middle of a tutorial. I gotta remember that myself. I get off track. <laughs> I'll put the water here. And looks like I have some fuel over here. Let's go ahead and load our fuel. And once again, like I was talking earlier, you can actually pull up to this tank and refill your tractor as well if you want. And that goes off that same storage system there. Swing on over here. And drop our fuel. We speed our time up. Oops. This guy start making starts making washed potatoes. So we jump out. And now anything that has silo spouts like this, guys, directly, you can use a regular trailer. Um, I know it gets confusing with the mills because I have silos, but if you look. There's not a spout. It actually shows that trailer symbol. So you would need the pallet trailer for this guy. And you start seeing these pallets, that's what that's for as well. But if you have a spout, you can use a regular tipper. You don't have to use these special tippers, even though I'm showing using them. It's just easy to use because they're already here. So we're going to swing over. This is what you do with a lot of potatoes. You can either sell them. Or you come on over here. Hey Barry, how's it going, bud? You drop your washed potatoes off at the potato chip machine. So we need vegetable oil. Need pallets. And washed potato to make potato chips. So we're going to go ahead and grab some pallets over here at the storage.
might be and where in the world did I put that tractor? With fuel, there it is. So we crank up the time again. A little windmill start up. Start making this can or uh, I used to say canola, but it's vegetable on this map. We use it soybean, canola, sunflower, or cotton. Slow the time back down. If you use a farmer Andy tanks, it actually has hoses that are connected to tanks as well. But I wasn't smart enough to figure that out. <laughs> so, we get our vegetable oil. I'm having trouble driving today. And I'm only going to put half a tank in here. So you can see the potato chips being made. There's the display again. Speed up time. There you can see washed potatoes. Oop, got my speed cranked on the walking. There's your vegetable oil, pallets, and then make potato chips. As you can see. Kind of cool. Did a little animation on this. I Kind of hard to see standing there, but you got potatoes coming out of the silo going into the little slicer. I don't know if I can jump up on this or not, but and into the vegetable oil and the fryer and make some frying noise and they come up the belt into the pallets. Same thing here, you can get the little pallet trailer, you can load the potato chips up, you can either store them or sell them, whatever you want to do. Um, now we're going to get over to the uh, you know what, I think I have, oddly enough, donuts are not included on the map. <laughs> um, I think I have a placeable, this is my factory pack, uh, placeables, or actually it's under BD mods, so don't get confused with the donuts, that's a separate mod. Um, this is a factory placeable pack, so sorry about that. And you would need my trailers for that because it, it's a special fill type. This, the map trailers won't, I don't think will work for it unless I, I might have added the fill type in there. I can't remember. So sorry to get confusing here. But I do not have donuts on this map. That's my placeable factory pack. This is a tortilla chip factory. So uh, we'll start loading this guy up. Show you how that works. It's the same. Like I said, going over this is a little monotonous because everything is the same. It's a different map, but everything works the same as the rest of the factories. So, basically, once again, we'll swing over here. We're going to drop our vegetable oil here. We're going to go grab, I should have started some flour. We're going to go grab some water. Now, you can either do milk at this little milk mill, or you can get your cows going. I'm going to teleport right down to the cows. And this is where you can pick up your milk. I cheated in the milk right now, so just so you know there's milk in there. <laughs> you can see that in your animal menu. Apologize for not driving around. It just takes a little bit extra time. I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. So once again, you can store your milk in here, just like the other liquids. And it'll actually display it. You can dump it in there, like I said. You see on that display there, the milk's popping up, and you can fill it right back up. It's fast, but you hear a little buzz. <laughs> Swing on over here. Once again, unload the milk. That's working. We're going to go jump. And grab this guy. This 
So the biggest thing is don't get this confused with the in-game tipper. This is one of the special tippers, so... Um, so a lot of the stuff it'll work with the regular tipper, but anytime it doesn't have a spout, you're going to need a special tipper. I should have been, I did a really good job on my factories of showing the different logos, but I kind of, it's like this one right here, you can use a regular tipper, you don't need a special tipper for it. So if we're going to make some flour quick, I'll just speed the time up. Got some flour, not a whole lot, but it just gives you an idea. There's your flour. And I'm just going to go over here and top it off on the side of it. chip factory. Well, Badzilla is asking why this special tipper. Well, if you go and buy a regular tipper, issue you would have first of all on this map it's just not going to work because it's a special fill type um, so you lost potatoes and stuff like that's going to work okay but if you come over here and try to load these potato chips for example It's just, it's not going to let you. And the problem is, if I loaded potato chips in here, it has a fill plane. There's, and I'm using actual visual nodes, and to show that I have to get into GE. But the issue, I was going to try to use regular tippers, but I didn't think loading the tipper up with potato chips was realistic at all. Like I said, I, I'm not huge into realism, but if you just filled this thing up with potato chips, it would look kind of funny. I kind of want to leave the illusion of pallets, I guess in the game the same with tortilla chips you know I wanted to put them in a pallet form so it's just a a visual thing and then the, the whole idea behind these trailers came from okay so if you want to have a placeable the issue on a placeable fabric factory is it uses a fill type that's not in the game so you can't get animation so even uh, like compost I don't know if they have a silo output for compost on an actual placeable it's using a heat well, uh, I'm huge on using silos because what happens is, once again, a heap is a pain because you got to use a shovel. Um, if you use a pallet system, you've got your pallet movers everyone's seen, but placeables don't support the pallet movers. So you fill your product up, you get one pallet popping out here. For example, you'd have one pallet popping up here. You're going to have 5,000 liters and the thing's going to shut down. So every five minutes you're going to come back and you have to take that pallet, move it off to the side, let it start going again, which takes five minutes to regenerate and start running. Well, the cool thing about this silo trigger is all the storage is staying in the game. So I have a storage of like, uh, I think it's a million on this guy. So you can make a million liters of potato chips and this guy will never shut down. It'll just keep chugging until you get to the one million. Instead of having 5,000 on one pallet and stop. I don't know if this is, any of this is making sense to you guys, but that's the whole purpose of this pallet system. And I kind of go over it if you look on my site and look at the explanation of the map. So yeah, I mean, rather than just having this one donut uh, pallet pop out, and it's, it's more for placeables. You can do whatever you want in the map because I can actually make my own particle systems. But if you don't have all these conveyors running out here with all these pallets, which then you run into them, it gets messed up, they want to stop. Or if you take the auto load trail and you grab that last pallet, sometimes it'll freeze it up. So you've got to save your game, shut down, and reopen. Well, all that's taken care of now with the system. And like I said, I would have loved just to use a regular tipper, but 
it would it would just be a white plane. It would look funny. Um, so that that's kind of the story behind that. If that makes any sense at all, and if you don't care, just want to play it, then that's fine. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. But that's that's basically the explanation of why I did this special trailer. And like I said, that's why I added it into the map. You don't have to download it anywhere. It's actually in the map. That's the whole. That was my main goal here. To not have to have you download specific mods. Every mod is included in this map. Um, so we need pallets. We grab some pallets. We're already going on an hour and a half long here. Let me make this as quick as I can. We're pretty much done. I said it. You, if you don't have the basic idea now, then good possibility you're not going to get it. <laughs> Of how this map works. Um, cell points are just simple as that. They're, they're cell points. I don't think I have to run around and show you. Now, I will tell you that depending on the product, the further away from the um, source, you're going to get a little bit more money. Um, let's swing over here. Oh, I got to show how to make the egg. That's only a lot. Get the pallets, unload them. So yeah, we just need to make eggs next. And so, yeah, I mean, here's an idea. You know, you can take this guy. As you can see, there's a spot right here. So wash potatoes. I could have put them in pallets, but wash potatoes already has a system for them. You know, that has a particle system, so you actually have potatoes in these form. Or, like I said, it looked kind of fl funny with potato chips floating around in this truck. So. Hey FatX29, how's it going? We'll bump some more washed potatoes in this guy. Now we're going to make some eggs. Right, yeah, I, like I said, I that was my main goal is to be able to put every mod in the map. That way people wouldn't have to go find an external link. I love Marhu stuff, but I have a heck of a time because my antivirus keeps popping off, you know, and that's not good. So here's the eggs. Um, basically, I didn't know how to make the in-game in eggs work, and the chickens are kind of pointless in FS17. Uh, so basically, you just drop the wheat. As you can see, wheat, corn, or barley for the feed like so and it's going to light up here and then we need to go get some water which I think I'm out of water at this location so we're just going to jump on down to the sheep once again like I said you can just come over here and fill from here or you can go into the water tower where you float your boat and teleport back over to the chickens which are by the mill. Give some water. And they should start popping up. Should start getting some chickens. I, I don't I might have removed the chickens because I was getting some freezing. So yeah. It's just kind of an added thing that I didn't really think we needed. So we have Get F1 the cycle, so we have food and water. We should start getting some eggs. You can hear the chickens clucking. I don't think I put any. Yeah, there's a chicken there. So I did. I think you gotta get enough water and food, and the chickens start spawning up around the area. Then you start getting your uh, pallets of eggs. Once again, let's get this guy out of the way. So here's where it's a newer building, so I little, did a little better job. It actually shows you have to use that pallet to pick your eggs up. So once again, you can either use this trailer or this trailer. So let's go ahead and go grab our eggs. Up 
pallet eggs. Once again, they have it stored down here. I'm going to set my wheels up a little better because we're sliding around. This magic happen. And we're gonna make some tortilla chips. Should start having some dough balls come out of there. Make sure I don't have any issues with my tell me I don't have that work. There it goes. Yeah. So we got dough coming out. It's making little tortillas. Falling down into the fryer and it goes through the little crusher. And we got tortilla chips. Just like that. A little bit of animation going on over here. Like I said, it, if it matters or not, I did make all of this stuff. You know, the buildings, obviously, that's an in-game building. I kind of changed the size of as well as this little shack here. This whole concept came from, once again, Farmer Andy. This was a potato steamer. Um, so I did not make this here. I just basically shaped particles around. Um, but I did all this animation with the actual potatoes and stuff. Um, turned them into potato chips. And same here, I basically took different parts. So I made this tank. This little concrete bunkers from the game but I took this crusher this was a portable wood crusher and turned it into a tortilla chip maker <laughs> and the silos of course are from the game I just changed some colors this is the BGA hopper I had to make animation for the flower I mean so it just the only stuff I kind of did from scratch like these tanks come from my liquid portable or my liquid storage so I made that from scratch but these spouts come from another mod. So it's all just kind of pieced together. But I hope this made sense, guys. Once again, you can... It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out. You just pull over here. Touch right on the ground. There's not too much dirt. Load tortilla chips. So you just pull into here. Pops up. Load your tortilla chips. And like I said, depending on how far away it is, if we... uh, Thanks, Donna. A lot of work. So tortilla chips, depending on how far away, like uh, KW for life is 4,900. So where is KW for life on the map? Well, maybe I'll get it. Uh, do, do, do. I don't see it. Okay, yeah, it's down here, so it pays a little more. And normally I have like DG's Bakery should be set up to be a little more because it's, it's actually a bakery. But all these points are like the game. You can actually click on them and just hit visit and it'll take you right to that point. The reason I labeled these with street signs, if you use course play, you can kind of use it as a label and then I'm eventually going to put some signs in. Yeah. Yeah, I keep... Honestly, Donna, I kind of kept all the extra trees and rocks out just for space, you know, using up more vertices and, and poly, but... I need to add some more beautification to it. <laughs> but I think that is it on the map. Oh, one more thing I about forgot. Let's show off the uh, sugar cane a little bit. Almost forgot. So we're going to waste some straw here, but let's take this guy. We're going to switch it to sugar cane. This drop. Man, 
driving too good today. Okay. It's been a waste of straw, unfortunately, but that's alright. I'm gonna hire this worker. I work it. I'm gonna plant sugar cane. It's a little faster than the end game, isn't it? Yeah, I can start bugging Barry about. Oh, that's a bad zilla, but it keeps bugging about streaming. <laughs> Alright, so. We'll let this guy plant away. And then we're going to go to the sugar cane once again. And we're going to grab this guy. Once again, you can do whatever color you want. Brim color. I'm not going to mess with that. We're going to buy him. And then we'll want to get the sugar cane cutter. Do the same color. Buy him. We're going to do one for the crone as well. Orange. Buy. Yes. Okay. We're going to do a yellow. Buy. Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you the difference between these guys now. What did I have? Uh, so this guy matches up. Okay. Orange and a yellow. So sugar cane. I do an orange buy. I'm gonna buy one of those guys in yellow buy. Now the difference here. I kind of went through that quick. This is where the real unrealism comes in. I guess. And Shader issues there, I see. Let's get that fixed. Okay. So, when it comes to these chromes, this one, the reason I kind of put this, it's got a 100k storage built right into it, so you don't have to follow them. This guy here works just like the regular crone or the sugarcane harvester. You have to follow with something or you're going to lose your sugarcane. Just to give you a heads up. Um, and this is just a, this is a cool way to do it, but the only thing I don't like about this is you can't see around the, the sugarcane. And when you're trying to load it, it's a little goofy as well. Hey there, farm chick, how's it going? Get this walkthrough done, and I can, I'll stop the stream, and we can just go to a nice, easy, laid-back stream. I just want to get this done as quick as I can. We've already gone on hour and 45 minutes, so let's go ahead and just crank up the time here. Sugar cane takes a while to grow. So we'll just cycle through a couple days because real time it doesn't take two days, but when I'm cranking it at 12,000, it takes a while. The old version would cycle right away, but for some reason this time cycle doesn't quite work the same way. So no worries, sugarcane will not take three days to grow. It just has to wait for the growth to catch up. So it should pop up here. There we go. I think we're ready now. So this guy's a cool looking thing. It just, like I said, if you want to unload it, it's a little bit tricky because you'd be driving, as you can see, once we get into the sugar cane so tall, you'd be trying to unload this guy on the left side and it's just not going to work too good. <laughs> but either way, it's kind of cool how it works. Let's go ahead and unfold him. So that, that annoys me. I've got to get that color fix. I don't know what's going on. There's an issue with the file I'm using evidently. We'll fix it. And so I basically add them disc up top to actually give the animation of the sugar cane going down. Kind of funny, but that's how this guy works. I'm in the hall book. I 
I think Big Daddy's got his own pack out there if you want to download it. So he's on the external link on my site. So this guy works okay. Now here's the fun one. This is the one that has the internal tank on it. And you can fold this guy up as well. It did, took me about a day to figure that out. That annoys me with that color flash and all. I gotta figure that out. So I got a spec file or something messed up. It's probably my normal file. Take him and I can actually hire him. As you can see, he's actually filling up. See, I have to babysit. If you take this guy, I'm not going to drive over there again. If you hire him, he's going to need a babysitter. But there's some, I got a talk to Rodby, I think was kind of running over this with me. So this guy, there's another disadvantage to this. Well, obviously this guy, you have to drive next to him, or he's going to stop. And the other guy, he'll just keep on going. But here's the messed up part. And this is why I don't like the homework, because if you have to drive on this side, you'd be kind of lost trying to drive through there, you couldn't see. So, being this guy has a tank, i got to figure out how to get the animation to work and spin that way on a couple other mods I've seen. But as you can see, you can't see the pipe animation. He's filming me right now, but you don't have any actual animation. So that's the drawback there. So i got some stuff to fix. That color's annoying the crap out of me. I've I've got an idea what it is. It's a material issue. I just got to figure out how to fix it. But it's not a real deal breaker. It's just a shadow issue. It's probably the specular in a normal file. We will get it fixed. Because Donna actually had a mod that she had me messing with. I was doing that same thing and it ended up being a. It's either a shader or a texture issue. I can't remember. But. Anyhow, that's in a nutshell. That's how that works. And if, one does, if anyone doesn't know about sugar cane, you can actually, once again, we'll speed time up. If you leave that home down, it should just automatically growing again. That's the cool thing about sugar cane. I'm actually thinking about making uh, mushrooms. Thinking about adding mushrooms to the map and having it do the same thing. But we gotta do a lot of work to get that to work. <laughs> I think that's it. I went over the sawmills, the the wood crusher. There's different cell points. Like you can, there's a lumber yard down here you can sell wood at as well. It doesn't. I'll tell you this right from right now is the wood doesn't sell for as much here as it does if you drive all the way up on top of the hill and sell it here. Like I said, you can drop logs here, but just to forewarn you, you can only sell chips with the train here. So. I think that's it for the tutorial guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream. I'll start another stream. We'll just do a chill stream where I can play the game. I got to do some looking on my website and see why the one tractor's not uh, able to download. But I'm going to stop this so I can upload to YouTube and we will be right back in about 30 seconds guys.